gonna kiss you before the sun goes down. Hi everyone, my name is April. Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. If you're brand new here, I am totally obsessed with farmhouse decor and that is what I do on this channel. I do trash to treasures and Dollar Tree DIYs, thrift store makeovers, and then I share a little bit of gardening here and there in the summertime. So I invite you to subscribe if you're interested. Give this video a thumbs up. Today we are doing eight trash to treasure and Dollar Tree DIYs, a little bit of boho, a little bit of farmhouse, a little bit of everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Really quick before we get started, I just wanted to mention that this video is in collaboration with all of the talented ladies that you see here. I will have a link in my description box, so please go check everyone out. This is a Trash to Treasure and Dollar Tree collab, so I know some people might be doing one or the other. I personally am doing both. I am so excited to see what everyone else came up with, but first, let's see what I created. So for DIY number one and two, we are going to be doing a Trash to Treasure with these two cans and then making a cute little stand for one of them out of Dollar Tree Jenga blocks. So the first thing I did was used some of this beautiful Arteza paint, which I will have linked below. At first I chose this beautiful gold color to paint my cans with, but I kind of felt like that kind of made it just look like a tin can. You know, it didn't really transform it. I don't know if that makes sense. The other one, I used Waverly chalk paint in the color Celery. This is one of my all time favorite colors. I use it all the time. So back to the gold, I decided to switch it up and try out this pearl marmalade. And this is so pretty. It reminds me of that really popular bronzy color that I'm so in love with right now. And then this third can was just one that I had left over from a previous project and I decided to go ahead and paint that as well. Next, we're going to make our plant stand. And so to make the plant stand, you're going to need 12 Jenga blocks that you can get at Dollar Tree and you're going to hot glue. Um, make six sets of two pieces hot glued together. I would suggest using E6000 for long-term durability, but I just used the um, hot glue for now. Um, and it's a lot easier just to watch what I'm doing rather than me try to explain it, but it was really easy to put together. I don't know if I did this right, honestly, you guys. I've seen people make these before and I've always wanted to make one, but I didn't look it up before I actually made it. So I just tried to kind of go by memory. Um, I believe that Maria over at Crafting with Maria made one a little while back. And so if you can just kind of follow along with what I'm doing here, it did work out pretty well. I just think it makes a cute little planter. And the tin cans are not heavy enough to worry about only using hot glue, so it totally worked fine. And now we're gonna take a little garden break. I do have a big, huge garden that I'm working on in my backyard, but right as you walk out my back front door, I have like a little patio area, and then I have this above ground a raised bed that we got at Walmart several years ago. I think they still sell them if you're interested. Um, I love it, but I just went outside and put a little dill plant into each one of these. And then I thought I would also just quickly show you a plant that this planter is from Walmart. It's also from Walmart. radishes and then back there I've planted carrots they haven't sprouted yet I mostly just do like herbs and things like that in my raised bed that is the one that you saw and then I used my Cricut just to create some simple little decals the font that I used is from duffont.com you can download it from free and add it to your Cricut design space and I chose the font cream candy now that little um that little one right there, I am not super happy with. I wish I would have chose something different, but they're still cute and you can't really complain when it's from tin cans. I mean, these were dog food cans and I do think they turned out adorable. Next, 
Next up is DIY number three and four. And for the first one, I'm using an empty spaghetti jar, some jute twine, and some nautical rope from Dollar Tree. We're going to start off by just tying a piece of jute string around the top of our jar. We want it loose enough that we can fit little pieces all the way around the top. You'll see what I mean in just a second. And I didn't measure my jute, but you want a really long piece. And you're going to be folding it in half like I showed here. My piece was probably way too long, but I wasn't sure because I have never done this before. And again, I just am going by memory, <laughs> trying to do these from how I remember. So hopefully I did this correct and you guys can follow along easy enough if you do want to try it as well. It's going to be a little bit hard to explain, but as you can see here, I'm just tying little pieces all the way around in the way that I'm showing and I'm so sorry about my hands you guys that is all paint and my chipped up nails is from gardening I really should have re repainted my nails before I filmed this I apologize but so you just want to go all the way around and then you want to repeat that same step on your second row so you're just going to tie a simple knot and then kind of leave it loose and so that you can pull it up to where it needs to be and then you can tighten it once you get it in the spot that it needs to be at and you just want to continue your rows all the way around until you get down to the bottom and then once you are done and you can completely pull the netting around the bottom of your jar then you, I just tied my pieces together and cut off the excess. And that's how I did it. It worked really well and I think it's really super cute. Remember I saw Casey from Coffee With My Sunshine make one of these, I think last year, and it was so cute. And ever since then I've wanted to make one. Now if I had some like iridescent, is that the right word, iridescent? spray paint i would have spray painted these but i didn't want it to be solid and also if you have some tea light candles that would look so pretty in here these would look beautiful as a centerpiece outdoors indoors on a shelf i just think they would look cute pretty much anywhere so to finish it off all i did was just took some more jute twine wrapped it around the top with a little hot glue and then here i'm taking my nautical rope kind of measuring how long i want my handle to be i was not able to cut through this with scissors so um, you do need an exacto knife or maybe i just have really cheap scissors that definitely could be it but i was able to cut through it really easy with an exacto knife and that's how it turned out i think it turned out so pretty i love it for the second one, I'm using a Dollar Tree jar, a hanging jar that I got a year or two ago. And I did the same exact thing, but I used some uh, wire cutters to remove the handle. And then I tore apart an old DIY that I did when I very first started my channel, used those beads, upcycled those beads and put them on this handle. And I just think it gives a really pretty detail. I love beads on anything. I think they are so beautiful. And these are just Dollar Tree beads. I just used several of the biggest size, I believe, if I remember right. And this is how they look together. I think they look beautiful. I want to kiss you before the sun goes down. It's what you do. DIY number five is going to be a Dollar Tree DIY, but I'm using these two round wood pieces from Walmart, and I'm pretty sure they were like 97, e 97 cents each, and then these ping pong balls from Dollar Tree. Now, I don't know what to call this, honestly, but I'll just explain to you what I did. I just painted everything white with my Waverly chalk paint in white. It is my favorite to use just because it's so cheap and you can get it easy at Walmart, except for right now, of course. Um, and then I hot glued all of the balls together. Now the very last one, I did kind of have to squish the ball, which is totally fine. You can't even tell um, to get it to fit in there. And then I put a little hot glue on top and then I did put a little hot glue behind since you won't see it just to make sure that the balls were nice and secure. I painted the balls and then I put the two pieces together or put the other wood piece on top with some hot glue. And then I took a Dollar Tree 
candlestick or candle holder and I have a couple that I had already spray painted white from a previous project. Now I don't know how I managed to lose the footage but all I did was hot glue the candlestick with the top piece and that is it. I think it did turn out cute. I'm not sure what to call it and the tray that this is all sitting on and the beads are two things that I made in previous videos of mine if you're interested. For DIY number six, I just took two empty wine bottles. I think wine bottles are beautiful and look good. Just painted. I mean, that is all I did was I just spray painted them and I think any color would be beautiful. I'm just using some white spray paint and then I believe the other color that I used is called Serenity Blue. This is such a beautiful color. And that is literally all I did and I think these make beautiful decor. Again, these would look beautiful on a shelf. I just stuck some lamb's ear in there and then paired it with my little jar that I made. And I really think this is very beautiful and so easy, so simple. Can't get enough of this. Being with you is like never in the sunshine. Feels like everything stops for a while when we look into each other's eyes. How could I ever let you go now? DIY number seven is going to be another trash to treasure. This is a really pretty little container that I've had for years. I have a lot of stuff that I have never gotten rid of that I had planned on getting rid of. The bottom of it is kind of falling off. It's kind of split and I'm not really into gold and I guess that's why I wanted to get rid of it. But it's so funny how your tastes change because now I'm like, I could totally paint that and it would be so pretty. And here I'm just kind of messing around with staging it. Um, I really need to get a new setup, which as soon as I get my craft room cleared out more, I will have other options um, so that I'm not just staging everything the exact same every time in the same spot. But this is how it turned out when I spray painted it white. I think it's so pretty and I just put some little sunflowers in there. And of course, you guys know I always use those beads. I love those beads. And that's it. I think it's really, really pretty. Such an easy, simple makeover. So DIY number eight, our final project is going to be these two little tiny dog food cans, empty dog food cans that again, I just took outside and spray painted with that serenity blue color that I love and waited for that to dry. Now this is a succulent plant that I got at Costco. Actually, my mom gave this to me and it was totally full, beautiful, luscious, and slowly they've all died. I am so good with gardening and with house plants, but for some reason I cannot keep succulents alive. Maybe it's not getting enough sunlight, but I wanted to try propagating some succulents. So I looked up online how to do it. I hope I'm doing it correctly. Um, I just filled these two little uh, tin cans up with some potting soil. And then from what I've read, you just have to pull off the little leaves. I don't know if they're called leaves, probably not, but the little succulent pieces and stick them down in there. And then I'll update you guys and show you if I get little sprouts of roots and then I can plant these and try to keep them alive. Um, I just thought it would be a fun thing to try. And yeah, that's how that turned out. Lost in the shadows of a million stars. So the last thing that I did is if you guys have been subscribed to my channel for a while, then you might remember when I cut some starts off of one of the plants in my bedroom and in my kitchen. I just wanted to give you a little update. Look how long the root has grown. It's been probably, I would say a month since I posted that video and this is what it looked like. I just wanted to give you an update. Here's another one. You can see it's growing a really good root base. So I will be able to plant these probably soon into dirt and then I will update you guys again. So that is it, that is everything. Please check out the playlist in my description box. You will get so inspired by all of the other ladies and I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Take care everyone, bye. Baby, I'm stuck with a hat.